yet another Rogue One trailer has dropped. This one's an international trailer and it's very much the same as the previous trailer, but it does have a lot of new footage and I'm going to go over that with you, uh, tell you what I thought, what I found, and uh, let's get to it. The trailer starts out very much the same as the previous one with the shot over the beach and the Imperial shuttle flying overhead. But then we get young Jin Erso running to who we assume her father to just tell her that the Imperial shuttle is coming. Um, from this shot, I don't know, I can't tell what emotion she has on her face. Uh, it doesn't really look like fear. It kind of looks like excitement, like visitors, we have visitors coming. It reminds me of a scene from The Patriot when all the kids are running because they're getting mail and it's exciting. That's how I see it. I see it as this girl's excited because we're getting a visit from someone from the Empire and she's going to be shown what the Empire really is pretty soon, I think. After that, we get this new shot of this woman. Who is she? I'm assuming that it's her mother, but I have my doubts. Uh, she gives her this uh, necklace with a crystal on it and is that a kyber crystal? What is that? And it's obviously important to her because she has it in the next scene when she's all grown up. And I, I, th I think she's in the jail cell before she gets broken out by the rebels. So whatever that necklace is, it's gonna be important, I think. So we learn that Jyn Erso's father is the one who sent out the distress signal. That's kind of what we figured, uh, but the shot of the Death Star firing, man, that was incredible. It's just eclipsing the sun and it just shoots at the planet, which it's interesting because in A New Hope, when they shoot at Alderaan, it just explodes right then and there. Here, it seems like it's not quite as powerful. So maybe that really is what Jin Erso's necklace is. It's more powerful and they need that kyber crystal to really power this battle station, the Death Star, to destroy a planet like that instead of slowly as we're seeing in this trailer. The shot after the droid character played by Alan Tudyk says the statistics of failure. Um, we get this quick little shot of Jin Erso and she's in this factory. It looks like it's on a Star Destroyer or even the Death Star because you see the lights in the background. It sure looks like Imperial to me. Um, but I don't know what's going on here. I'm hoping that they're running away from Darth Vader. That would be cool, but we don't even know if Darth Vader ever sees them because in A New Hope, he just says, several transmissions were beamed to this ship. Um, we assume that they either all die in the process, but we don't know how they die. Um, I don't, I honestly don't think Darth Vader is going to end up killing them. I think they're all just going to get killed. Something I kind of missed last time, um, but I'm definitely excited about, is the inclusion of the Y-Wings. If you look really closely, you can see a Y-Wing in the shot where the X-Wings are all attacking. There are some Y-Wings in there and I'm super pumped about that because what The Force Awakens didn't do was include a variety of ships. It was all X-Wings and that, that disappointed me. I wanted some Y-Wings or A-Wings or B-Wings or U-Wings that they have now. Um, I like that they're f going back to that because really in A New Hope they only had X-Wings and Y-Wings. I don't think they had A or B-Wings until um, Return of the Jedi. I don't know if they even had them in Empire Strikes Back, but uh, it's cool. I like it, and I hope that they actually do something with them instead of just put them in the background. Uh, and if you look in the background, you can see the frigate, and there's more than one. Looks like there's three, to be honest. So I think there's a meaning behind what uh, Jin Erso says to Diego Luna's character, Cassian Andor, uh, when she says, I'm not used to people sticking around when things go bad. Oh man, what could that mean? I think her mother 
might abandon her before things go bad. Uh, I think that's what, when she's giving her that necklace, she knows that things are going to go downhill, so she takes off, and her father sticks around and takes after her. I don't know, uh, but I have a feeling that that obviously means something with her parents. Oh man, that shot of Darth Vader, the new shot, it's from the same scene uh, of him walking out of the smoke, he's just walking back the other way. Uh, but his hand, look at his hand, it looks like he's choking somebody. It looks like he's force choking somebody. So, I don't know. I think he's, I think he's pissed at uh, Ben Mendelsohn's character. So guys, that was the international trailer. It should be the last trailer we get. We thought that about the last one, but this one should definitely be the last trailer we'll get. We'll get some more TV spots, hopefully, that should reveal a little bit more footage. I don't think they'll reveal too much more, but uh, what this one gave us that was new was pretty cool, and uh, some spoilers might have been in there. Who knows? Uh, so let me know what you guys thought of the trailer in the comment section below, and if you like this video and you want to see more, you can click right here and subscribe, and as always, Thanks for watching.